So Colin Town came to me because I was a patient. I was an alone, lonely patient searching for other people who had survived so that I might find a way, my own pathway to my own survival. I was diagnosed, now it's been over 17 years ago, lived in Denver, and um, I'm a community builder by trade, and there was no community that, that I could find anywhere that contained the people that I wanted to find, and those were other survivors, other patients and survivors. Lots I had to discuss with them, and I couldn't find them. They didn't exist. They were, there was not a network. So I knocked around for five or six years after I completed my treatment, which was only first line, luckily for me. I've been NED ever since I finished that first line of treatment. Again, lucky for me. And getting increasingly involved in the, in the uh, organizational world that is addressing colorectal cancers. I was looking for disease specificity. I found that. I was also looking for those other survivors. I couldn't find them. So finally, just been almost 10 years ago, I threw down the gauntlet and said, well, if it isn't, if it isn't me, who is it? Because I seem to be the one who can do it. So I created Colon Town on Facebook. Facebook was free. I had zip money. And actually, it was minus a zip money at the time and was just kind of coming out of the financial disaster that was this experience. And um, I just started it. I started it with, I, I had the nice graphic of Colon Town with the sun coming up and, I, and literally I did not ask anybody to be at, I mean, I decided to start it on a Sunday morning when I got the idea of doing a secret group. And so I launched the group and I added about 12 people that I knew from my, my work in the field already. They were patients or caregivers. And I didn't ask them any of the nice things, like, would you like to belong to this group? No, it was a Sunday morning. I just added them to the group. And then I closed down my laptop and I went swimming for a couple of hours, which is what I do. And I came back a couple hours later, opened up my laptop, and to see what had been going on, if anything, and there were 78 people in that group. And I said, oh good, they must like what I'm doing, so I must continue. That was the first day of Colon Town. And I think today we're looking, we're hovering around 5,000 very, very engaged members in all these 150 separate neighborhoods in the unique design of Colon Town, which is truly the most unique design out there for any, any patient caregiver community of any sort. So I'm very pleased about that.